Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and iOS 13 beta 2 has been released. So here are 40 plus new features and changes on iOS 13 beta 2. Now, before I start this video, I just want to ask you guys to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, I'm trying to get my Instagram account going. So if you don't mind, go ahead and follow me there. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. So let's get started with 40 plus new iOS 13 beta 2 features and changes. On iOS 13 beta 2, now you can force touch on Siri suggestions to dismiss them. Just force touch and dismiss them using the X button right there. You can use force touch to add a widget easily from the home screen of your iOS 13 beta 2 device. Now just force touch on any icon, of course the app has to have a widget available and you will see this little button right there, add widget, just tap there, you can see that little check mark, it will add it to the widget section. Also, 3D Touch is back. I'm hearing like different reports. It's back from some devices. From some, for some, it's not still yet. But the thing is that Apple did not remove 3D Touch, and it is back. I have 3D Touch here. It works perfectly, just like it did before. So 3D Touch is back with the beta 2 of iOS 13. Also, 3D Touch now it has a sound. It's very hard, like hearing it from the camera here but it has a sound whenever you use 3d touch here on the icons or any pop-up you will hear that 3d touch sound that 3d touch sound also works within the control center so whenever you're force touch on any of the toggles of the control center you will hear that sound it's a really nice like small haptic feedback sound it's really cool but it's very satisfying when using 3d touch to hear that sound if you go to settings on iOS 13 beta 2 and you enable voice control, now you will have that little icon right there. You can see whenever we go to the home screen, it shows you right there that the voice control has been enabled. So that will stay there as long as you have voice control enabled. On the music app, when you tap on the now playing section, now it has a new animation when popping up and down like this. So whenever you tap here, you will get that nice little animation. On the shortcuts on iOS 13 beta 2, now you will have an option to create a shortcut that allows you to set the appearance. So change dark mode and change the light mode. So you can see you just search for set appearance right there and then you will have here dark and light or ask each time. So you can create a shortcut which you can use to quickly switch between the dark mode and the light mode. On the control center, now if you want to force touch here, for example, add the toggles here of the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all that, and just basically pop up the screen. Now previously you only had to go ahead and precisely force touch here in the middle. Now you can force touch anywhere like on the Bluetooth, on the Wi-Fi, and it will go to the menu like this. On the shortcuts app on iOS 13 beta 2, if you create a shortcut that has to do an action from an app on your iOS device, it will show the icon of the app right there. So you can see right there the icon instead of those glyphs, it will show the actual icon of the app. There are new Memoji stickers on iOS 13 beta 2, so you'll have some expressions here that have been added. I believe these four right here are new and have been added on iOS 13 beta 2. On iOS 13 beta 2, you also get new sounds when you react to messages. So you can see right there, if I react to message, it will give me a new sound. So these are sounds that are different for each of the reactions. So you will get a different sound for each of those reactions. On the share sheet on iOS 13 beta 2, you will have here manage instead of more. It used to be more, now it's manage. If you tap here, you will have more options. Now here is a change as well. Now previously you had two buttons, done and edit. Now you don't have the edit button, but you will have the ability to change these simply by dragging. You don't need to tap the edit button to go to this edit mode. If you want to share a website on iOS 13 beta 2, now you will get options. If you tap right there, you will have different options in which you can share that website. So you'll have like automatic PDF or web archive. So you can choose automatic or basically choose any one of these. Also, if you want to clear the history on iOS 13 beta 2 in Safari, now all these like labels right here will be red. Now they used to be blue, now they are red. So you can go ahead and clear the history and of course it shows them in red, which indicates that you're deleting something. 
There is a new portrait mode on iOS 13 beta 2. Unfortunately, this will work only on the newest devices. I believe this is a feature exclusive to the iPhone XS and the XS Max. I just got this screenshot from Reddit and this feature is not available here on the iPhone 10. So it's called high key light mono and this is a new portrait mode that has been added. If you go to the settings of the mail app on the settings app now you will have the option right here to ignore blocked senders now it will share the blocked contacts with messages phone and all that and you'll have the option to turn it on right here going to settings general and then keyboards now you have a new options here delete undoes slide so if you use this the slide to type keyboard when you do a slide and you tap the delete keyboard it will delete the complete word that you have typed on the tv app now there is a new 3d touch menu if you force touch on the movies like this it will show you this menu from where of course you can copy share and view the details and all that stuff going to the settings of the safari app on the settings app now you will have the option here to enable or disable show link previews so if you don't want to show the link previews you can go ahead and disable the switch right here something really really cool with ios 13 beta 2 is that apple has added the language support basically to all of the apps so here to the camera to the photos anywhere you will see this section right here that allows you to change the language per app so you can choose any language for any of the apps now this used to be on beta 1 as well but it was just on a few apps if you go to the settings of the notes app on the settings app now you will have an option right here to sort checked items so if you go right here you can choose manually or automatically if you choose automatically whenever you check an item on a list it will automatically move it to the bottom of the list if you go to the emergency sos settings on the settings app and scroll down here you will have an option here to disable the countdown sound now if you try to call the emergency it will count down when you when you're trying to call and with this switch right here you can turn off that countdown which is really really loud if you go to your settings and you go to, to your apple id now you will find a new subscription section right here so this wasn't here before it has been added on beta 2 going to settings and going to the accessibility section on ios 13 beta 2 you will have an option here to turn on rttty from here just go ahead and turn it on with these switches so you will have two switches here to turn it on or off on the files app on ios 13 beta 2 if you tap right here now you can connect to server now this has been added with this new beta and you can add the server right here and connect directly from the files app also the files app now on this new beta has support for the apple file system so apfs is has been supported with beta 2 of ios 13. also air sharing has been added and it supports the airpods v1 as well so with ios 13 beta 2 you will be able to use that with the version 1 of the airpods now let's take a look at a few changes that fix a ton of bugs that have been on iOS 13 beta 1. For example, on the app store here, if I went to the purchased section where I have the apps that I have purchased, whenever I tapped on an app, it wouldn't open anything. It will just freeze the app store. Now that works flawlessly. Also, the volume hood has been fixed. Now, previously on beta 1, even if you enabled change with buttons, it wouldn't change the ringer volume here on the home screen. It would just show the slider here on the left side. Now it shows the ringer and it works perfectly. On the notes app on beta 1, it seems like Apple just completely forgot to add a cancel button. But Fortunately, that has been added on beta 2. Now, previously, you only had to take one of these actions in order to get out of this menu or just basically close the app. You didn't have a cancel button right here. On iOS 13 beta 1, the video scrubber on the default video player of iOS wasn't there at all. So it will basically just not show the scrubber there at all. Fortunately, that has been fixed. On the control center, if you go to the screen recording section, you will have here everything fixed. With beta 1, the text right here was aligned on the left side, while the, I, the microphone icon was on the right. It looked just like a total mess. And now it has been fixed. If you want to set a wallpaper on iOS 13 beta 1, this button right here that turns on or off the parallax effect wasn't working at all. Fortunately, that has been fixed with iOS 13 beta 2. Now you can choose if you want to have the parallax effect or not. The button works. 
on the email app on iOS 13 beta 2 now you will have the option right here to select all mail so just go ahead tap the edit button and you can go ahead and select all the mail at once on iOS 13 beta 1 whenever I went to a game or something that was in full screen mode it would still show a black status bar right there at the top and now that has been fixed whenever you go to a full screen game or anything like that you won't see the status bar right there. Opening the Maps app on iOS 13 Beta 2, you will get this new splash screen. So basically it shows you what's new with Maps on iOS 13, the look around, favorites and collections and also series suggestions. So this is something new on the Maps app, it will show you like everything that you need to know on what's new on the Maps app on iOS 13. Now this is a screenshot that I got from Reddit, so basically on iOS 13 beta 2 whenever you want to delete an app that has a subscription, it will show you like this pop up here, this warning and it will show you a bunch of information here and also it gives you the option to go ahead and manage your subscriptions from here. On iOS 13 beta 1 whenever I went to the widgets panel it would sometimes crash and take me back to the home screen. Now it looks like that has been fixed. I had iOS 13 beta 2 for almost 24 hours now and it didn't happen even once. Something new here with the iPads, the iPad OS, a new home screen icon right there. When you go to switch on the apps right here you will get this home screen icon on iOS 13 beta 2, basically iPad OS beta 2. Now, I got this from a user from reddit because I don't have an iPad right now so this is a home screen icon that you will get on iPad OS beta 2. So that is it for this video guys these are 40 plus new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 13 beta 2. Now installing iOS 13 beta 2 on your device is very simple now you can do that using a beta profile so you don't need a computer you don't need basically anything just your iphone and go ahead and download the profile if you haven't already installed ios 13 on your device and you want to make sure you check out the card i will leave there the video link which will show you exactly how you can install ios 13 on your device very very easy the process will take just about 10 to 15 minutes and you don't need a computer or anything else besides your iphone so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it also don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys on the next one